over your ex, don't waste your tears. Get angry. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 angry breakup songs. For this list, we've picked what we felt were some of the most rage-filled or revenge-seeking tracks that really capture the feeling of saying good riddance to an ex. If you didn't see a song you think should be on the list, be sure to check out our top 10 sad breakup songs list. Number 10, Before He Cheats, Carrie Underwood. Right now, he's probably slow dancing with a beach blonde tramp and she's probably getting thirsty. She may be a southern belle, but that doesn't mean Carrie Underwood is always a prim and proper lady. I dug my key into the side of this pretty little souped up four wheel drive. In this country rock and pop number, Underwood avoids crying over her loss and instead glorifies the act of revenge. which she does by destroying all of her two-timing partner's belongings. Calling for a tit-for-tat sense of justice, Before He Cheats also made history when it became the first country tune to sell over two million digital copies. Number nine, You're So Vain, Carly Simon. Ever since this soft rock number was released, we've been wondering who Carly Simon is singing about. And that's just the way the singer-songwriter likes it. Regardless of the mystery man's identity, You're So Vain has become her most well-known and successful song. With scathing words describing a vain former lover, it's hard not to relate, and not to love, a song that sticks it to that ex that just can't get over himself. Number 8, Love Stinks, The Jay Giles Band. Never has a song about unrequited love been so accurate. While describing how it feels to love someone who loves another, the Jay Giles band really sounds like they do know what it's like when you just can't win. The Love Stinks Yeah Yeah chorus may be simple, but truer words have never been spoken. Thanks to its fun and catchy sound, the song has been covered by multiple artists and even found a home in pop culture. Number 7, Cry Me a River, Justin Timberlake. You were my son. You were my <laughs> Reportedly about his breakup with Britney Spears, this song is a power anthem for those who are done with relationship antics. So you took a chance, made of a plan. While its R&B rhythm, beatboxing, and synthesizers give the track an addictive quality, JT's power vocals add a somber tone to the piece and highlight the sentiment that he's done with his ex's excuses. Now it's your turn, it's your turn to cry. So cry me a river. Go on and just cry me a river. Go on and just cry me a river. 
River helped solidify his solo career and won Timberlake the Grammy for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance. Number 6. Used to Love Her, Guns N' Roses I used to love her. The guys of GNR take their need for revenge against a vindictive ex to the next level here. In this Izzy Stradlin and Axl Rose pen number, Axl sings about the need to put her six feet under. Harsh. This killer tune may not have actually been inspired by any of the band members' exes, but there's no question that Used to Love Her fits the bill when it comes to an angry breakup song. She beat so much. She Number 5. Go Your Own Way, Fleetwood Mac. Despite the harmonic vocals and easy listening beat, the lyrics of Go Your Own Way certainly have a bite to them. Written by Lindsey Buckingham about his relationship with Stevie Nicks, the hard rock number is truly one of the standout pieces from their iconic Rumors album. With lyrics just as complex as their relationship, the single also became Fleetwood Mac's first American Top 10 smash. Number 4. Since You've Been Gone, Kelly Clarkson. Known for her powerhouse vocals and self-empowering anthems, Kelly Clarkson really knows how to bring a bad breakup song to life. Instead of moping about her former lover, she proudly proclaims that she can breathe for the first time. Besides its pop rock and power pop flavors, Since You've Been Gone really showcases Clarkson's outrage and sense of freedom, and even nabbed the American Idol's album a Grammy. I wish nothing but the best. Number three. You ought to know, Alanis Morissette. I know the version of me. Is she perverted like me? Would she go down on you in a theater? Known as her mainstream breakthrough, You ought to know also marked Alanis Morissette's departure from her nice girl rep to angsty alt rocker. Cause the love that you gave that we made wasn't able to make it enough for you to be open wide. The Red Hot Chili Peppers Flea and Dave Navarro contributing bass and guitar. The Grammy winning single charted within the Billboard Top 10 and let us see a different side of the Canadian singer songwriter. By digging into an ex she gave everything to, Morissette scorches everything their relationship ever was. Number two, I will survive, Gloria Gaynor. As one of disco's most recognizable anthems, it's fitting that this song about surviving a tumultuous relationship has so successfully stood the test of time. I 
I Will Survive has become synonymous with self-empowerment and it's something of a gay anthem. In 1980, it received the Grammy for Best Disco Recording, which was the only year that award was given. But it's the rousing lyrics and Gaynor's confident vocals that have made it such an enduring and highly covered tune. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Green. Never has an FU sounded so upbeat. Using soul, pop, and RB elements, CeeLo Green speaks to those who are finally ready to forget about an ex who is too materialistic and phony to see a person's real worth. Accompanied by a flashy and memorable video, the sensational song had to be edited for airplay in certain areas. But this doesn't take anything away from its mood and message. The song also reached Billboard's second spot and attained much critical and commercial success. Agree with our list? Which angry song helped you get over your ex? For more satisfying top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.